what's next for the bloodline in today's Unmissable. The world is watching. Hi guys, I'm David Real Life and welcome to today's Unmissable. And yes, in today's video, we are going to take a look at what is next for the Bloodline. Yes, we saw last week the destruction of the original tribal chief, Roman Reigns. What is next for the Bloodline? Uh, and what is next for Roman? Obviously, the big massive news from this week is that Roman has been pulled from the 13th of September's SmackDown show. I mean, his name's not as one of the listed superstars to appear on that show. Don't know if that's a tactical reason or just that he can't make that show. I mean, only time will tell on that one. But it does worry me, totally worries me, because uh, who? And who who's going to be the attention of the bloodline? What are they going to do until then? Or even after then, if Roman doesn't show up. I mean, it's very interesting. And uh, yeah, the other point is that obviously the Bloodline are in action on SmackDown. They do take on the Street Profits. It's a title match. But yeah, we out Solo and uh, like uh, Tonga Loa or even Tam Tamatonga. It depends on who's defending the titles. I do believe it's uh, Tamatonga and Jacob Fatu, but it could be Tonga Loa as well. But whoever defends the title, this is a mid-card thing. I don't think the Bloodline should be spending much time on this. It, they don't look like they're going to be on the Bash of Berlin uh, card, which is astounding because you need. I think you need this, uh, this Bloodline faction to feature heavily on pay-per-views. But, yeah, it doesn't look like they're going because there's not going to be much for them to do. Uh, I mean, they really got to sell something on Friday to uh, make me uh, think, oh, they deserve their place on the pay PLE. But, uh, yeah, the mid-card title match. I mean, yeah, what do you think? I mean, you haven't got Kevin Owens. You haven't got Randy Orton. They're in title matches. Obviously, Kevin Owens challenging Cody Rhodes at Bash at Berlin. And then you've got Randy Orton challenging Gunter at Bash at Berlin. So the, the two other people in this storyline at this moment are busy. They, they've moved away from the bloodline. So what, I, I just don't understand this. No Roman. So what are the bloodline going to do? Uh, who are they going to attack? Who is next on their list? Uh, and uh, I can't really see Street Profits being the ones, to be fair. I mean, the Street Profits have not been booked that well over this past uh, year and a half. So, uh, yeah, I feel that this is secondary. I mean, really pushing them low down on the card as well. So, yeah, I don't understand this. But there is... A, a way of bringing this back to the forefront and this could be a massive po possibility and I've, i kind of talked about this a loads of times on this channel and uh yeah we every time there's a, a little lull in the bloodline storyline we heavily speculate a return and it's this guy's return it's jimmy uso the forgotten hoose uh, I mean, he's supposed to have made his comeback weeks and months ago, but it, uh, they've kept him uh, away from uh, coming back to WWE. I'm sure he's ready. I'm sure he's fit and ready to go. But obviously, with Roman dominating the last couple of weeks, it probably makes sense now that there's a lull in that Roman Reigns story that we bring in Jimmy. And not just Jimmy. You bring in Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman... At the side of Jimmy Huso. I feel that that is important because Jimmy on his own, not the greatest on the mic. He's certainly not at J level. So bringing in Paul Lehman would be very interesting as well. I don't think he comes with anybody else. I'm not expecting him anytime soon. I mean, well, it's a massive shock if he does, but I feel like he'll come once we start building up the, the uh, original Bloodline cast. Uh, and we start building that back up, and then we'll get Hikaleo uh, involved in the storyline thereafter. But 
yeah, let me know what you think about this because without Jimmy coming back, Bloodline's relevancy takes a massive hit because Roman's not scheduled. And if he doesn't show back up at the 13th of September, this is going to be another month before Roman's back on TV. What are the Bloodline doing in a month? This is damaging for them. So they need this big return of Jimmy Uso to keep their storyline going, to keep this Bloodline storyline fizzing along, or it could go stale really, really quickly if they don't. That's just my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. But I feel it's very strange, and the, the weird booking of Roman is very strange. I mean, it must be a creative nightmare not being able to just schedule him for a proper run because uh, he just seems to disappear randomly. I mean, obviously we could be all Ludwinked and he's on tonight's show, which I'm very doubtful of. But if he does show up, that would be absolutely epic and a c catch a lot of people off guard, to be fair. But yeah, my prediction is we see Jimmy Uso sometime soon. It might not be tonight. It could be next week. But I feel if they're going to keep this Bloodline storyline going, they need something to keep us uh, interested, peak our interest before Roman actually does return back and does do a proper program. It needs to be back permanently to get to Survivor Series, or we're just not getting the uh, bloodline uh, civil war that we've been looking at and been eagerly waiting for. So, yeah, that's just my opinion on this. Let me know what you think of all this in the comment section below. Excited for Bloodline versus Street Profits. Anything can go wrong. I mean, do the Street Profits become new tag team champions? OMG, that would be insane. I mean, it would be an epic push for them to become tag team champions again. They do need it. They're starting to look a bit like... Uh, underutilised tag team fodder at the moment, just like many of us. Anyway, let me know what you think about all that. I've been Dave in real life. You guys have been awesome. And until the next time, bye for now.